What's up, guys? So this video goes out to, I want to say his name was Brandon. Uh, he commented on my last video. He made a great point about how I didn't talk anything about um, how to like, cover your risk or whatever with such limited capital. How it all depends on how much money you basically have available to invest totally. And if you're young, dude, if you're 18, 19, like a thousand bucks ain't shit. Like you'll be fine losing a thousand dollars. Don't lose that thousand dollars. Like if you're going to invest, make sure you make a great investment. Don't lose it. But if hypothetically you were to, you'll live. I promise you'll live. Aside from that though, because you should definitely be investing to win, not to break even or not to not lose, but to win. I would recommend if you're investing to win, find basically you are your insurance. So instead of picking things that have basically any risk, you are like, like I said, you're the insurance policy. You take out all the risk factor. It's all about how well you think you can sell. And I, my comment back was something called drop shipping. So eBay and Amazon have something where you can basically, if you're, what Steve Jobs did with Apple was before he even had a MacBook created or made, he sold the idea to people who would give him orders or whatever. So he already had, I wanna say it was like 40 orders for MacBooks out the door and he hadn't even made the first one yet. And then created after he already had it. So using the same mentality basically as Steve Jobs, if you find something for $100 that you know is going for 200, have, test the market out first. So post some things for sale or tell some people about it that you're basically, that you know will buy it no matter what. It's if you get enough people, if you get, let's say you have one product, you buy for $100, sell it for 500. Instead of only finding one person to buy it, find 10 people to buy it. This is where the creativity comes in. Um, not only does it create a larger demand because there's more, um, there's only one supply where there's 10 demand compared to one on one, which is basic economics, obviously. But um, it allows you to have 10 backup plans, basically. If the one person doesn't buy it, you have nine other people who are looking to already purchase the same exact thing. So that way you don't, basically, I consider that no risk. Like I consider selling no risk. If you can't close a sale, that's on you. Like, or you're finding prospects that don't need your product. So basically, if you find something that you have enough insurance policies, basically, to give yourself a put, which I talked about in the last video, which is a guarantee, then you'll be fine if the one person that you're gonna sell it to doesn't buy to. So I would recommend getting creative and creating your own creative, basically insurance policy. I don't know how many times I can say creativity in one video, but do that to the point where you don't have to worry about if one thing fails because you have so many other lines. It's kind of like diversification, but I would call it more of a hedge. If it's, it's not technically either, but for the understanding purpose, call it a hedge. So Brandon, I hope that answers your question wonderfully. If it doesn't, by all means, you guys know where to meet, find me, Twitter at the Josh Elbow, Instagram at the Josh Elbow. Don't use Facebook, so don't even follow me on there like I said in the last video. Um, if this video helped, Brandon, I'm not sure if you're subscribed to me or not, subscribed, if I could pronounce English, um, subscribed to me or not, but if you're not and this video helped, by all means, I appreciate the love, the comments, like helping you guys out. It's really what I do it for. This isn't paying me anything to make these videos, so it's all about that. Look at this guy. Look at that watch. Look at that watch. Look at him go. But yeah, so until next time, guys.